Good day. Today I'll be speaking to Dr. Muhat Klani. He was a lecturer at African Languages. He's retired, but I think at this stage we can safely say semi-retired because he's still going strong. Yeah. Doctor, welcome and thank you for joining us. Tell us, how did you become a researcher? Yes, uh, that's a that's a good question, uh, Carmen. Uh, you know, uh, it, it has a historical account. You know, in in my response to your question, I will I will go back. Okay. You know, at school I used to like uh, uh, what do you call essay questions. Oh, I love You know, too. response to essay questions where you would be subjective to express your own yes. views in your own way, you know. Yes. And then the other thing is, you don't need to be factual. There's no element of objectivity in it. But whatever you say, you say it from your perspective, and you can support it. Definitely. You know, you Definitely. can change it to become meaningful, even though it is not meant to be actual. I remember so, that too. Mm, so now this helped me to try always to be uh, subjective and to put things in my own way. Okay. Now when I came to the university, I, I have realized that now this is based, you know, research is based on this. Okay. You always uh, want to, to know, to put things in your own way. If you have a topic to write about, you have to, to be yourself in tackling that yes. topic. You don't have to just to put facts. It's not a I matter of putting facts. Storytelling is very important, oh, visualizing. Yeah. That's right, yes. that's right. So now uh, I built on that okay. and developed a great love in it. As a result, then I then started to write research uh, articles and so on. That's Lovely. How it, that's how it, it, it came about. Okay. And what are you currently working on? What research? Yeah. I, at, at present, I'm a Satya accredited uh, Sisutu freelance translator. Oh, well, lovely. So, th there's a wide field of uh, research in it. Because I always say, <laughs> the research is as advanced as the number of people. Okay. You know, wherever people are, people have different uh, 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 perceptions of life. Yes. And... This is the crux of the matter when it comes to research. Okay. Because you build on that. Someone says this, looking at the same reality or life or nature. Yeah. But you look look at it from a different vantage points. Okay. So you, you, you have to argue as to how why you, you, you look at it like that. Okay. And as I said, how and why. Those are the essential questions. Important, very yeah, important research to questions. understand anything. Yes, and f most of the students fail when it comes to why. They just want to put facts and, and so on. In research, we're not interested in that so much. And I struggle with critical thinking. Yes, because if you're looking for facts, I can get them to myself. But I want to know why and how did you come? So ha having said about, talked about a reality, a, a, a research is, is, is grounded on three basic uh, uh, constituents or elements. You, you have ontology, yes. which deals with nature. Yes. You see? Nature is exposed. We are exposed to nature, all of us, but Definitely. we don't perceive it in the same way. Yes. Ontology. And then you have uh, 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 methodology. Yes. You know, how you... How you How view you the nature the itself. The method of approaching or looking at nature is different. Then you have epistemology, knowledge. How do you know what you know? Yeah. Okay? If you can account for what you know, you don't just have to know one plus one is equal to, to two. Yes. But you have to tell me as to how did you know that one plus one is equal to two is epistemological. Now, based on this, it goes back to the question you asked earlier. I like philosophy so much. Okay. Because these concepts that I'm talking about are philosophical concepts. Philosophical. Which means uh, a, a research is based on philosophy. Okay. Yes. 
If, right. if students could understand that right at the beginning, right uh, uh, where it starts, then they would not have a problem as far as research is concerned. I wish I'd known you when I was doing my honours research module. <laughs> <laughs> it would have made it so much easier. I understand yes. it now. Yes. Dr. Matlani, right. have you managed to establish any gaps in your field, any research ah, gaps? Another wonderful question. You know, as far as uh, uh, translation is concerned, that's uh, extremely where, where, where I focused. feature. Yeah. Yes. There is this thing of uh, back translation. Mm -hmm. I, I want to, to nip it in the bud. Okay. If you, if you have to back translate, in other words, you bring what has been already translated, perhaps in Sesotho, you bring it back to English to try to establish as to whether it has been translated properly. Okay. If you won't reach that stage. Why so? Because translation, more than the language transference itself, is based on culture. Yes. So if you transfer language to another language, it will no longer, it's not the reversible. The interpretation change. Yeah, yeah, translation is not reversible. Oh, wow. It, it's a one-way traffic. Yes. It just go one way. Okay. You, you can take it back because it is based on culture. And that can be with miscommunication. Comes in. You see, that's where it comes yes. in. Yes. yes, that's right. Oh, excellent. <laughs> so so what? that's a gap. That's, That's definitely a gap, a gap. Because when people translate, they don't seem to understand or, or undermine, they undermine that fact. Oh, that dear. cultural aspect is what is fundamental. Oh my goodness. Yes. So, any words of wisdom for aspiring researchers, maybe in your field, or any general yes, um, yes. word of wisdom? The budding researchers. That one. That's Give them right. some, some knowledge there. Yeah. You have to read. You can't do research without reading. You have to be a prolific writer also. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, write broadly. Because, you know, writing a research or writing a thesis or dissertation and so on, you write and rewrite and rewrite and so on. You don't stop writing. And writing is based on reading. If you if you read, then you 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 train your mind to write. Okay. You won't have a problem of writing. You won't have a problem of researching if you understand that uh, uh, reading. Because even they struggle always the students yeah. you know, as far as uh, getting the, the the appropriate topic. Ah, yeah. They would say, "No, I take a long time before I determine what I'm going to write about." You won't get it, of course, because you don't read. You don't know what you're writing about. Yes, you've got to familiarize yourself with the conventions of writing yes. research. Okay. And you'll get them in uh, 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 reading a lot. Very important, because, I mean, the new Pearl's report was also just released. Again, the poor grade fours are in hot water, reading without comprehension. Yeah, that's so right. the problem stems far back. Yes. Yeah. And then you've got to stretch your mind to think about your experiences in life. Yes. This is where research, great field of research would be found. Okay. So you have, we are sitting here in the library. How many times do students come to the library or ordinary uh, 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 reading public? You see? Yeah. You, you've got to, you've got to come to a library and use the resources that they have found here and read them properly. Very, very you'll find important. that You'll find the research being uh, fantastic. Really. Oh, lovely. Yes. So, so, apart from your research, one final question. What do you do for rest and relaxation? What are your hobbies? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> reading. <laughs> Except <course>. for reading. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me put reading aside. I like gospel music, oh, you know, listening to gospel music. Yes. But uh, even though I can't sing myself. No, neither okay. can I, I won't try. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Now, not only to listen, but always the, the whole ele element of a, a, a research comes in again. Because then I always try to establish a, a, the relationship between a hymn, Okay. Gospel. Yes. And a traditional poem. Okay. 
a traditional poem is dedicated to the king or the chief or whatever. Okay. They praise him and so on in, in that in that poem. All right. In as much as within the 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 field of uh, Christianity, oh, you yes. have a hymn that is dedicated That's to our dedicated. heavenly Father. Yes. So there, there are strong affinities between between the two, and that is what is fascinating to me. I always. love it. I love oh, yes. it. Well, so on that note, my final words: Kia libura, mlaholo nolo o wena. Aha, mlaholo nolo. Thank you very much. Same to you. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you. Here is the hand. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you.